Hey there YouTube, it's Math Baller. Welcome to my third and final video for my trip to Scott's Reindeer Studios LCS Triple Play Vintage. Back on Wednesday, August 16th, 2023. My last weekday of freedom, so I thought, kind of last moment, let's do it. I'm going to head on out there. Let's do it. So, there's the address. They're open 11 to 7, except it uh, looks like on Sundays and Mondays they're open 11 to 6. So my first video showed all the one, two, five, ten dollar table purchases. Good stuff. My second video was a mixture video there. Had some 50% off showcase, a whole bunch of TTMs, a signed baseball, and three other cards. This video has 31 vintage baseball cards that were all 70% off. And the price tag for them all, all 31 cards, was... Four, was um, $400 exactly, which means this is $120 worth of fun. 31 cards, 17 are, T, are TTMs. The first 17 are for TTM purposes, and the other 14 are strictly just for PC. So first off, let's start with some Pirates. Well, he was a Pirate, you know, but we have Jim Marshall on the rookie card, so I would have spent 3 bucks on that, maybe. Joe Morgan on his rookie card, yep. Very good. We spent a whopping dollar twenty on that. I've got this signed by Bobby Shant before, but if it turns out, you know, I got a couple other cards to send to him, you know, maybe in, in a few months, I'll send that one out. Two dollars forty cents. This is a card. Okay, now that was the Pirates, former Pirates TTM fuel. Now we're in the baseball TTM fuel. I have been looking for this Bob Ash Ramonte card at a good for a good price because it's a high number. Number 547. So for six bucks, that will look great if it's if I can get that sign. I've already got the Jackie Brandt rookie sign, but for a buck fifty, well, maybe I'll get to him again. Tom Buford rookie for a dollar eighty. I have one of these, haven't sent it out yet. I know he has a donation, so I shouldn't be so hesitant to send back out. I mean, if they have a donation or a fee. It's no big deal to send it back out to him. If not, I wait about six months. Like Ray Culp, rookie. Here, Ray Culp. Um, that would have cost me a buck twenty. You know, I can wait six months to send back out to him. But Daly, I believe he... Yeah, he's the one who does not personalize. But that rookie card, that 58, would look great with some ink on it. $2.40. We'll, we'll start climbing the price ladder a little bit here. Carl Erskine on the 58. That cost me 450. I mean, the condition is so good. How do I pass that up? Oh, I always mess up this name. I'm going to say Don Ferraris. $4.50. That'd look pretty sweet if I got that sign. I've got the Whitey Herzog sign, but he's a Hall of Famer. For 3 bucks, pick up the 58. For 3 bucks, pick up the 59. I've never gotten this Joe J sign card sign before. I've only sent to him at this point one time ever. So for three bucks, that's a really pretty looking 58. Good color, semi decent centering, overall conditions pretty decent. This Jim Maloney from this set, um, there was a triple faced card where I got him to sign. Well, now we got one that's a quad. Let's get him to sign that one. Six bucks for that one. Second year, Camilo Pasquale. Let's do that. Ten bucks a hit. Tom Qualters on the fifty-eight for two dollars forty cents. Tom Qualters on the fifty-nine for a buck fifty. So those were my seventeen TTM or TTM fuel intentions. Now these are just strictly for PC. I'm not looking to sell or send these ones out. Well, obviously, Cal Abrams has been gone for a long time. He was a pirate, so I just spent six bucks for his fifty-one rookie. Fifty-two. Fifty. 51? Yeah, for his 51 Bowman rookie. Very cool. Oh, I like this card. I've got it's an authenticated, slabbed up, dual signed Bob Fran, Billy Pierce. Now I got a raw one. Very good for three bucks. Oh my gosh, yes, please. So these, you know, these pirate uniforms, like they, that one and this one, you know, these will go into my 1950s team sets once I start intentionally trying to collect the 50s team sets. So we got the Dick Grote. Got the Dick Hall, which I think I already have that one. Dag Nabbit, but it looks really good. Mr. Wilmer Vinegar Ben Mizell on the 58 for three bucks. Art Swanson, Swimmy, 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 Swanson, Swanson, Samsonite? No. 
Swanson? Swanson. I checked the briefcase. Oh, Samson Knight. I was way off. He was signing for a bit. I'm not even sure if he's alive, to be honest. Well, for six bucks, we'll put that into the PC. It's a nice looking Preston War. I really hit the 56s pretty hard on this trip. Got the Yogi Berra when he was managing the Mets for a buck fifty. Picked up a couple, a few, I believe. Frank Malzone had a pretty nice career. So on the 56. The 58. I mean, for three bucks, why not? Get the 58. Go ahead and get the 59. So, you know, Bobby Shantz, TTM legend. Well, we got William Shantz here. And that's his rookie, William Billy Shantz. Yep, the brother of Bobby Shantz. I'm like, oh, that's cool. You know what? I didn't realize that was his rookie cards. So for $3.60, let's pick it up. I've already got this card signed by Bobby Shantz, so I'd still say this is a rookie card for Billy Shantz. So let's pick that up for 6 bucks as well. And then finally, I picked up another rookie card, because why not? Oh, yeah, Norton Seaburn. I mean... Cyber and Seaburn, whichever. I mean, that's that's cool for six bucks. Picked it up for the P picked that up for the PC. So not as amazing as some of my other purchases from there. Seventy percent off vintage, but still pretty darn good. Oh, I like showing that stuff off there. Good stuff. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. That was my third and final video for my trip to Triple Play Vintage back on Wednesday, August sixteenth, twenty twenty three. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I really, really appreciate it. If you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I upload three videos a week, a TTM video on Monday, and an autograph and or trading card video on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Take care, everybody.